Falcon 180B just became the big bird in AI town. At 180 billion parameters, it's arguably one of the largest large language models available. But are all those parameters truly worth it? Or are the developers just flexing on us? Well, TII UAE, the group that burned through a flock of GPUs and three and a half billion tokens to train the model, managed to top the Hugging Face leaderboard. Kinda. I'll get back to that. More importantly, they made it freely available for you to use in both research and commercial applications. So what exactly did it take to train this behemoth? And what's the issue that you might want to take into account if you're going to be using it in your applications? Before I answer that, let me give you the machine learning 411. Who, what, when, where, and how. Falcon 180B was released on the 6th of September, 2023 by the TII UAE. It's a 180 billion parameter decoder only model that was trained on three and a half billion tokens with a context window of 2,048 tokens. What makes it unique is that it performs exceptionally well with the authors claiming it ranks just behind GPT-4 and on par with Google's Palm 2 Large, in spite of being half the size of that model. But does it really perform that well? Only one way to find out. To get this bad boy up and running, we need to install a bunch of libraries for transformers and import them. Also, all this code is going to be in my GitHub below if you need it. But here's the first hurdle. You can't just run this on any old clunker computer. You need big bad GPUs. A bunch of you asked me how to do this, so I'm going to show you. I use RunPod. Literally choose the service you want to use, select how many GPUs you want, and boom, connect GPU notebook. This is a paid service and I pay for it myself, but for all my rando ML projects, I found that it'd be pretty good. Now I'm not making Mr. Beast money. So this is where the second issue pops up. If you want to run the model at full precision, you're going to need 400 gigabytes of VRAM, which costs a lot of dollars, but there's a fix, the bloke. He's been roving around on Reddit quantizing the latest and greatest LLMs for us to use. So using his optimized model, you just need two 80 gigabyte A100 GPUs. Bargain. Note I'm using the chat model here, a model which has been fine-tuned for chat-like interactions. This is super important. I'll explain why in a sec. Load up the model using auto model for causal LLM and pass a few keyword parameters, the most important being cache deer. This allows us to save the model where we got space. I'm going to call the two better transformers class because I saw it in the documentation and we always follow the documentation. This speeds up predictions by using flash attention. More details on the hugging face side here. While we're at it, bring in a tokenizer and now we can generate. Write a prompt, pass that to the tokenizer. I'm going to use the Sally benchmark question that I've been testing out. I found a bunch of tough prompts on this site, so we're going to run through a few of these. First prompt, Sally, a girl has three brothers. Each brother has two sisters. So how many sisters does Sally have? The correct answer is one. So what do we get? Run the generate method and uh, no, this threw an error saying that we had one too many keys. Easy enough, just had to delete the offending key from the input and generate again. And we didn't get the right result. But with a little prompt engineering, we can actually get what we need. But we're gonna take a look at some other use cases, namely a little code generation instruction, and we're gonna test out its general knowledge as well. I'll let you enjoy this. Also, if you want to get the text and not just print it out, you can throw the output to tokenizer.decode and you're good to go. So in spite of the huge compute requirement, this is such a huge advancement for open source models. And it's only going to get better. So what is it exactly that you need to be mindful of? Well, TII released the pre-trained model, which was topping the leaderboards but only for pre-trained models. That model had not been fine-tuned. In fact, in this run through, we used a model fine-tuned for chat which coincidentally has been beaten by smaller fine-tuned models based on Llama 270B. But give it time, the open source community will probably train the living daylights out of it and top out all the leaderboards. Things are looking promising for Falcon 180B. If you'd like to see how its baby brother Falcon 40B performed, click here.